All right, thanks for joining me. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the Crafty Text extension that can be found in the Google Chrome Web Store. Now, if you've not used this extension, it has been around for a little while now, but it's often overlooked and it's something that's been very popular with our teachers. First of all, if you want the Crafty Text extension, all you have to do is go to chrome.google.com slash web store. And it is an extension, which means that it is a tool that's added to the top right of your Google Chrome browser, just next to the Omnibox. You'll see these little icons that are showing up to the right here. Those are extensions and they are single use tools that you can use for various things. In this case, Crafty Text allows teachers to post a banner at the top of the screen that can be used to provide instructions, maybe a web address that you don't want to repeat over and over again until students type it in correctly, or any number of things. In the case of what we're talking about, we're going to use it as a way to put a bell ringer activity on the board or instructions on the board. So all I have to do is go to the top right and click on the little CT icon, that's our crafty text icon, and then I can type in or paste in any instructions that I have. In this case, I have some instructions here for students to respond to a flip grid prompt in our Google Classroom course. And then I can hit enter on my keyboard or click display. And so that shows up big and bright on the screen at the front of the room. Students can see it, it's very obvious. And I can go on and take care of the beginning of class activities such as taking attendance or doing head counts and they can go ahead and get started with the bell ringer activity right away. When you want this to go away, you just click on the CT icon again. Now, you may have noticed that there's some other things in here besides just a box to type in your message. So if I click on the CT icon again, you'll notice that in addition, we also have adapt text size, which I've done already. Um, and then you get show suggestions, which will give you suggestions for items as you type them. You have shorten, which is great because if you have a long address such as this one here, which is difficult because people would have to be able to see the uppercase, the lowercase, and the string of random letters in this address. But if I copy it here and paste it in and then click shorten, then what happens is Crafty Text will shorten that URL. Here it is now on the screen and displayed. So in one click, I shortened that address down and displayed it on the screen. And in this case, it's just a goo.gl slash and then six characters as opposed to the 10 that you see in the actual address. And then finally, one other thing that you'll notice is there's shorten with QR. So if you use tablets in your classroom that have a QR code reader, maybe you're doing some kind of web quest or scavenger hunt where you need students to go around the room and uh, capture a QR code with their tablet, or maybe in this case, they are using tablets in the classroom and you just need them to scan the QR code at the front of the room, then you can put in the address and then hit shorten with QR. And in addition to shortening the address and putting it on the screen, it also gives a QR code that students can scan. This is also great if you're at a workshop and or a conference and you need to get your presentation out to an audience, you can go to that presentation copy the address, paste it in the crafty text box, and then hit shorten with QR. And anyone that's got a mobile device with a QR code reader can scan it and use it right away. Well, that's just a quick rundown on the crafty text extension. Hopefully that helps you understand how it can be better used in classrooms as well as conferences and workshops. Thanks for joining me and check out my blog at www.techiecoach.com.